she's a working woman, so she, she doesn't stay out that late. But when I first met her, she's we we're totally opposite. She had no idea what I do for a living. And um, when I first met her, we were recording the record, which, you know, you kind of set your own schedule. And I met her, I'm like, hey, what's up, sweetie? You want to go to breakfast? And then I was like, you want to go to lunch? You want to go to dinner? And she was like, dude, you need to get a job. And I was like, well, I kind of have one. And um, she truly had no clue about my world. And uh, But she was kind enough to say yes when I asked her to marry me. And the only thing was she was like, well, I want you to write a song for our wedding. I'm like, sweetie, this is my second marriage. There's enough pressure already here, you know? <laughs> Anyway, I wrote, I, wrote, I wrote this song for our wedding, but just, just to clarify how we were married. This is two years later in our marriage, and I'll never forget this. Is, and I love her. This is how we get along so wonderful. She's such a businesswoman, and I'm the dude. Um, I was upstairs in the bedroom. I swear to God, it's a true story. I love telling this story. And all of a sudden, I hear her downstairs. She's like, sweetie, sweetie, come downstairs. They're playing your music on the TV. And I'm like, Wow, I don't remember clearing anything, but this is great, you know, it's money. And I come downstairs and she's just sitting there going like this. And I'm looking at her. I'm like, sweetie, that's Matchbox 20. <laughs> it's a true fucking story, man. <laughs> Which I'll take any day. I love Rob. I love Matchbox 20. So at least she puts me in a category where she thinks I can write decent songs, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> That's, that's true, man. I love it. Um, so this is our wedding tune. I wrote for our wedding. Oh, I taste.